Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here, bringing you guys another video. I know it has been two weeks since my last upload, and I apologize for that. I just really didn't have anything I wanted to make a video on. I was sick for a little bit, and I just really didn't know what to make a video on. But now I am back. I got some topics to talk about today. Well, one main topic with a bunch of subtopics within said thing. If you saw the title of this video, you already know what this is about. Call of Duty Zombies map review, Terra Maledicta. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this is the new map released by Treyarch in Vanguard Zombies. And I played it and I beat the Easter egg on my first attempt while my girlfriend was sitting right next to me. And it was the most laid back, chill experience ever doing this Easter egg. But um, that doesn't make it great. All right. So I'm going to talk about the good and the bad of this map because I definitely think there's some good and I definitely think there's some bad. And I'm going to come to a final conclusion on it. So Vanguard Zombies. DLC 1, Terra Maledicta. So let's start with the good because I do think this map has actually a couple good qualities to it. I'm going to be completely honest. First things first, I want to talk about the new wonder weapon, the shield. I like the shield. I think it's fun. Like, I think it's unique, uh, you know, that we have like a wonder shield. I mean, I know it's a wonder weapon. It's classified as a wonder weapon. But the shield is kind of interesting. We haven't had one of these things in a little bit. The last one I can think of off the top of my head is in Blood of the Dead. I'm sure there's been d better shields since then, but... This shield actually feels really fun to use. It's very powerful. It's needed for the Easter egg, so you got to get it regardless. It is very easy to acquire. It's not one of these wonder weapons you have to go crazy out of your way to get. And then if you're playing multiplayer, if you beat the Easter egg, you actually get another couple shields out of the, your reward crates. So I like the shield. It's cool. The voice, uh, it's it's not terrible. You know, it's not annoying. But I think the shield is a nice addition to the map. I actually really like the shield, and uh, I'll give them props. I like the shield. It's a cool addition. I will give them props as well for a main Easter egg quest. Now, before you go into the comments saying the new Easter egg sucks, I'm not giving them props for the fact that the Easter egg is great because it's not. I'm giving them props that we actually have an Easter egg, right? That is something that I think should be brought to attention. Yes, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not amazing. It's not even good, right? It's But it's better than nothing, right? And one of the biggest things that everyone hated about Duran, Duran Fong, yeah, Duran Fong, sorry, I almost said Duran Fang, but Duran Fong was that it had no Easter egg. It was really boring. Now, at least we actually have something to do on this map. While it's very easy and can be done in a couple rounds, it is still better than nothing. I'll also shout out the fact that we have side Easter eggs now, which again, in Duran Fong, we had no side Easter eggs. It felt really boring and bland. At least here, it feels like there's stuff that we can do other than just kill zombies and go through objectives. Having side Easter eggs is fun. I like that. And then I will give credit to the new boss. I don't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head, but it's what you see me killing now on the screen. You know, I like variety in the zombies. Uh, pretty much all we had was the Storm Kriegers, the regular zombies, and the exploding zombies. I don't even remember the name of, but it got really boring and repetitive, killing the same things over and over again. You know, I know you're going to say, like, all classic zombies was the same. When the map is boring, the zombie killing gets boring, right? So at least we have a new boss to add some variety in. I, I like the fact that there's a new boss zombie. She's not overly difficult to kill. If you have a shotgun like I do, it is without a doubt one of the easiest things to do. You just spam her, break off all three of her masks, and then she's dead. It's pretty easy, but I like her. She's not the greatest thing in the world, but she's not overly annoying. You know, she's not like a boss that takes away points if she hits you she can't take away perks if you run into her she's very basic and i'm cool with it it's not the worst thing ever so overall i'll end the good off with this there was effort put into this map you can tell they actually tried some things with this map where with drawn fong it's like they just released it to just get it out for the game this map they actually tried a couple things in right so it's kind of cool to see that they actually care somewhat but now let's go over to the bad first things first the main easter egg length this easter egg is short and it is very basic now i know some people will be like well you know we like easier easter eggs every now and then not everyone has to be a super hardcore easter egg which that's fine i totally agree with that but this easter egg is mind-numbingly easy i should not be able to do the easter egg on my very first attempt like without even looking up a guide on how to do it they tell you everything to do which is nice that they actually tell you what to do and it's not left to your imagination but the steps are so easy and honestly most of the easter egg isn't even you doing crazy stuff it's you listening to characters talk which leads me into my next negative thing about the easter egg boring steps the steps are just boring there's nothing super fun about them 
nothing's really cool there's nothing memorable like you know in the older like easter eggs like when you were doing Horizon, right upgrading the bows is iconic upgrading the staves is iconic in origins the boss fights those are all iconic you don't really get a boss fight in this map you kind of get an arena with a lot of zombies but you don't get like a main boss fight so it, the steps are pretty boring in my opinion i also really just am still not a fan of the objective based gameplay look i don't think objective based zombies is doomed from the start i think there's cool but the objectives themselves just aren't that fun they're not super entertaining i know there's the void objective so you can play classic zombies but it's just not the same now i will say void objective again it has no perks there's no perks in the void objective which i think is really lame why well, have a pack a punch but not have any perks there so we can buy our perks i just think that's lame also no new perk I know that's something we're kind of accustomed to in recent years in Zombies, but no new perk is pretty disappointing. I was hoping for something to kind of spice the gameplay up. They did not deliver on that. Overall, I will finish off talking about this map by saying it is definitely better than Duran Fong. Now, is that something amazing? Is that something to be applauded for? Not really, but it is better than Duran Fong, and it is a step up for sure, but is it good? I can't really say it. Like, if I had to give it a number rating, it's weird. I feel like four is too harsh but five isn't harsh enough so maybe like a four and a half maybe like a 4.7 i don't know i don't think this map is the worst thing ever but i definitely don't think this map is great but anyways if you guys enjoy the video please be sure to like comment and subscribe help me on the road to 650 subscribers if you want to see more vanguard zombies videos please let me know i will definitely be streaming this map and playing it a bit more because i just want to get some more experience on it and do the side e strikes because i haven't done those yet but overall this map is a step up from Duran Fong. I will be playing this over Duran Fong for whenever I actually play Vanguard Zombies. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Austin, and I am out. Peace, guys.